TB Joshua has a strong message for the Christians. Uh, let's hear what he has to say. Prophet TB Joshua issues strong warning to Christians. Prophet Semitope Balogun, simply known as TB Joshua of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, has warned Christians against the belief that they cannot be touched by the infectious coronavirus disease. TB Joshua gave the warning while responding to a question on whether a real Christian can contact COVID-19 on Facebook Live question and answer session. Some pastors, such as Primate Elijah Ayodele, had once boasted that none of his church members with, would contact the virus. But the COVID-19 pandemic has shown that it is no respecter of region, religion, social status or age. Ask if Christians are not exempted. The cleric said, Capital, yes, Christians do not make the mistake of thinking that you are out of touch. God often uses anything to preserve us and to strengthen our desire and determination for God. Whatever your situation as a believer, it is all for you, all for your obedience to God, according to Hebrews 5 verse 8. A Christian can contract COVID-19. It is just like any other affliction. A Christian can be sick in the body and yet be a friend of God or a candidate of heaven. Don't let your situation mislead you and cause you to start doubting your God. That should be the reason to look deeper. Pray and more. Pray the more and dream of other ways you might have ignored. Do not measure your Christian life by your situation. The rich should not concentrate on their pain or riches and the poor should not concentrate on their pain or poverty because a man may be afflicted or poor and yet be a candidate of heaven. As a Christian, what you see as COVID-19 or affliction, God may sometimes allow it as a trial. Oftentimes, we run from the very things that we bring strength to our lives, such as trials, affliction of any kind, all of which are meant for our spiritual benefits. They are to test your maturity. A true Christian is tested by his ability to face situations and deal with difficulties. Take note, as a Christian, if you cannot co if you contract COVID-19, don't begin to misjudge yourself by worrying. Am I really a Christian? What, why me of all this? Why me of all that? As a Christian, you are not out of touch. Don't worry about whatever people say. If truly you are a Christian, God wants you to pray the more and know what he wants you to know because what we see as a disadvantage in our lives can be turned into a into an advantage. God is still saying something. Hmm. This is really loaded and that's just exactly the way it is. Uh, even the Bible says that uh, in the world we will see tribulations. He never said you will not see tribulations, but say be of good courage, cheer up that he has conquered the world. That is what the Bible says. For you, for the fact that you are a Christian doesn't mean that things will not come, come, uh, uh, or, or uh, you cannot experience all of those difficulties. And that's why uh, the particular Bible says uh, affliction will not rise the second time. Of course, it has risen before. A typical example was what happened to Job, and he overcame that. A lot of people didn't understand it. I think uh, uh, the the Bible verse that uh, goes with what the, uh, T.B. Joshua said is just uh, the situation of Job. Job experienced, encountered a lot of troubles, a lot of tribulations, you know, that uh, if it had happened in this our time, a lot of people would have judged him. Of course, he was judged. He was told to deny God and what have you. And more so, if you, uh, the Bible says, those that know it, they are God, they shall be strong and do exploit. If you know your God, definitely you'll be able to know some things that really happen, you know, for some reasons. So I think uh, that is where the TB Joshua is coming from. You know, those who are talking from the beginning, even before the coronavirus came to Nigeria, or especially the time uh, the government came out with the measure that people, the worship centers should be closed. A lot of narratives, a lot of things. Oh, they don't want us to serve God. <laughs> Say, come on. You think uh, going to that uh, four uh, walls, that is where God is. You are carrier of his presence you are you are church yourself you just go there to congregate with other people that does not mean that that is where god is all of you you have god in you you just go there and congregate 
you are a, a your carrier of his presence so uh, that is the reason why a lot of people do not know things and that's why some people just worship pastor they don't even read their bible they have made they worship the pastors they worship their geos unknown to them they might not even know it but the problem is that they don't even research on their own they don't even read the bible they want somebody to read the bible and interpret the bible for them if there's anything any man of god says and you think oh, maybe your spirit is not aligning with it you know just go to the bible and see well no 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 no. whatever their pastor says that that's that status is that status is it's high time everybody needs to build him or save build yourself for yourself at the end of the day nobody's going to answer any call for you you're going to answer the call you are going to give account of everything you have done here on earth you are not going to be blaming somebody oh somebody misled me or oh, somebody taught me this there's no there will be no room for that everybody we answer for himself or herself. That is what people really need to know. And we should need to be careful. And that does not mean, oh, because you know that uh, you are a child of God, then you can go and be touching all manner of things. You can, you know, be tempting yourself. It doesn't work that way. God is a principled God. There are some things that you will need to do. And God himself, we, ha we have to do his own, you know, have to do his own. We do his part as well. So we all need to be careful. And we all need to focus on to him. The Bible says, Jesus is the author and finisher of our, of our faith. Looking unto him is the author and finisher of our faith. But people don't know that. Oh, the next, no, oh, don't talk to my pastor like that. Oh, don't do this, don't do this. Who are you before God? Are you not a man of God? Are you not a woman of God? Some people will be threatening you. Oh, you don't know the fire you are talking with. You don't know the, uh, the spirit that is in that person. Who tells you that anybody has a monopoly to God? It depends on how you want to assess this God. And if you feel that, okay, you don't have that right to have access to god you think of oh, some people don't have that privilege that does not mean other people are like that so some people will always go about defending you have not even defended yourself you are defending a woman being a woman being like you what is your place before god you are defending somebody some people, some people think there's a hierarchy in heaven oh uh, the ones who have known god for donkey years the ones who have done this a typical example is that of job not even job i mean a uh, uh, judas he walked with jesus he had first hand information with him he walked with him one on one but at the end of the day he missed it at the end of the day he missed it then what do you have to say about the the, the thieves one of the thieves that was on the tree on the on on the tree when jesus uh, uh, was uh, being killed one of the thieves he said you know there was something he said at the end of the day he made it you can imagine somebody who had one on one interaction with the the savior but he couldn't make it the ones at the end of the day that never that had committed all manner of atrocities you know and jesus says don't don't worry tonight you will meet me in paradise what are we talking about the, the bible also says that the last shall be the first the first shall be the last so it is not by you being there for donkey years oh you have known god for time immemorial he does not count somebody who is starting today might be might be more than you but the way we look at things as human beings oh this one has been in the ministry for donkey years so you that you are just knowing god or you they feel they just be like maybe because somebody is popular that is where that is how god operates a lot of people who are not known a lot of people are not known by people but they are very they are more known they are known by god but the ones who people think oh they are they are they are popular and all of that the result the case might not be so but that doesn't mean that even somebody who is popular might still have a, a good relationship with god but what we are saying is that it does not follow most times so that is just the way it is in everything that we are uh, we we are going through definitely god will do it so what joshua tb joshua is trying to say is that for the father you are a christian does not mean that oh it is not my portion it is not my portion so the whose portion so the question is that before this whole thing came to nigeria a lot of people are like oh those who will now know those who who are with god those who do it, it, it you know i think most of the time maybe people take them out of context or they themselves they don't really explain most of these things just to try to piece this oh this is what i mean by this, this is what i mean by this you know if you just make some kind of statement people just go back with that and that's what they run with where everybody needs to be careful in all in all whatever whatever that might happen you know is still god everything is still all about god but for the fact that we have our responsibilities that does not mean that god is not a principled god he's a principled god you have your parts to play he has his own parts to play but at the end of the day you must give glory back to him that he has done wonderfully well for you so that is just my opinion concerning what a tb joshua has said and i think it's a really uh is a good one at that and some people are here to 
say one or two things concerning what he has said someone says yes i see wisdom in these answers yes elisha the prophet died a sick man yet carrying the glory of god his dried bones brought a dead man back to life but he died without receiving healing and someone says the christians without power of god called holy spirit must be panic at this time a christian with evil powers must panic because they are just ordinary thing in person uh in present of viruses it means this miracle worker of god that cast many demons to face face to face cannot cast ordinary virus out of people it means what you are doing before is scam it means you need to repent sir okay that's what somebody is saying to so joshua well god knows why god will not let any plague come near a dwelling place according to his word psalm 91 and someone says have you read job is a believer who what happened to him at last at the end of at the end of it all he overcome the situation you know we need to you need to balance all of these things at the end of the day someone says thanks for enlightening us man of god words of wisdom uh, more blessing. Mm. Someone say fake pastor, fake pastor. If any, if faith can move mountain, what is coronavirus? Yes. Uh, someone say you are a man of wisdom. God bless you. Oh God, do not let us, uh, your special grace fall off the Nigerians' head because of the waste of their mouth. Show them your love, uh, all of them in Jesus' name. So guys, uh, let us hear your opinion concerning uh, the message of uh, TB Joshua. What do you think? You see some people now they will start coming and be telling saying all manner of things you know some people their lives are not just like that their own is just to abuse abuse they don't know anything just to abuse what do you think say your opinion you don't need to abuse somebody before you pass a message leave your comments below and let's have your take